Ah, a shortcut. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Hang on to those, boy. I'd like to earn your money honestly. What? What happened to the rest of my tools? My wheel mending kit was in that toolbox. You expect me to fix this wheel with only a hatchet? Hatchets are for destroying, not for fixing. What kind of game are you playing here, boy? Oh, I know. Maybe I could use this blade to chisel a wheel out of driftwood. Or perhaps I could cut down a rubber tree plant and weave myself a wheel. You are not going to last three seconds in that tournament with that kind of stupid dream logic. Tell you what, you can keep my hatchet, but please bring me a real solution. You know, like a wheel, big, round, rolling, a wheel that goes here, like those. I thought this might do the trick. Lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoofs, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Hey, th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, Buttercup! Don't forget about us working folk, especially when your pockets are full of riches. Back away, back away. Hello, uh, apologies, I'm late. I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. 
King's orders. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. You cut? I did not cut that. You cut? No cutting. Come at me, bees! Stay off those rocks! It's dangerous! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, dear. Not good. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Another horn and another missing piece. <coughs> your hero is thinking. I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. You cut? No cutting! Pardon me!
All right. Distress. Distress. Don't the tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoyed. I don't. I don't know. I had caused enough distress for one afternoon. Did you see that? I was almost across. Anyone? Don't help us. I'm intensely studying the various approaches of my competitors. I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. I wasn't going to toot that horn anymore until I found the missing piece. Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your 